It'd have to be uh, obviously goalkeeper. I'd have to go two at the back, and then one in the midfield, and then just left the one up front. But yeah, to be fair, I could have a sweeper, couldn't I? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go sweeper, a 1-2-1. One, one. I've played a lot of good goalkeepers in my time. A um, few likeable, a few not so likeable. But I'm going to go for someone who, not for his goalkeeping qualities, for just sheer mass, just to cover the actual goal. So I'm going to go for Grant Hall. He's a centre half by trade, but as far as as far as stopping goals going in the net, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be many people better than him. So yeah, I'm going to go Grant <laughs> Grant Hall in goal. He's probably he won't be happy with it, but he'll understand why. He'll understand why. So that's me first selection. If he just turns up, just be existing as a person will be enough. Just standing in one spot, he'd stop a lot of goals. I've played it again, a lot of good centre halves, a few springs of mind, Gary Cale. Um, I could put him back there, Zach Knight, if you remember him, like Man Mountain, I'd back him from the Bolton days. But one who stands out to me was actually one who, who I played with later on in his career, Darren Ward. I don't know if you remember him, Millwall. Uh, I'm going to put him in there for his, his leadership qualities because I always admired him as a, as a good leader, a very vocal, good organiser. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put him in there. I just always, yeah, he had a good presence about him in the, in the dressing room and he's always, he's probably one of the best professionals I've ever seen. So I'm going to put Darren Ward centre half. Two midfielders, I'm going to go with Tom Huddleston, who I played with at Hull. Technically just a maestro, you know, for someone so big and to be able to manoeuvre the ball and manipulate it like he did, you know, he was technically just, um, very very good so I'm putting him in there for a five side team and his physicality as well so he's got he's got a bit of both um, and then the other player I am going with is Mark Davis from the Bolton days he was you know he used to just glide through people back in the day now he's just a brilliant player and you, you kind of know as a good sort of um, marker everyone you speak to always says the same thing you know, all, all the pros who have played with or against him will always say the same thing. Mark Davis, I mean, oh, he was he was so good. So I'm going to put him in there as well. Unfortunately, his, his career was cut a bit short. Through. He had a lot of bad luck with injuries. Um, but, you know, I've got no doubt he would have continued at the top flight for a lot longer than what he did. So he's definitely gone in there. Ooh, strikers. Well, it was Ivan Klasnic, you know, Kevin Davis. Um... Again, I had a good Johnson, Emileski, just obviously from the Bolton days. Um, but yeah, you know, this is about me, so I'm playing. I'm backing myself. I'm putting myself. It's my five-side team. This is my show. I'm I'm being the main character. I'm absolutely being the main character in my show. So I'm putting myself in there. Uh, I could have put Ida Good Johnson in there. You know, I probably disappointed a few people with that one. But look, it's my show. My rules. I'm playing.